folks, so this is your June 2018 Espresso Box unboxing. Um, Espresso Box has been around for quite a while now. Gosh, at least three years, almost three years at this point in time. Um, if I remember correctly, when I got hired on full time at my job and started to go through some imposter syndrome, one of the ways that I coped with that was by uh, improving on my dress and grooming game. And one of the ways that I did that was by subscribing to some men's boxes uh, to get some accessories, as well as ideas for how not to dress like how I thought it was perceived. So, uh, espresso box. One of the things, I, uh, one of the things uh, that I can say that they do and they do well is they theme. So the idea is everything in the box is designed to be wearable as a cohesive unit out of the box. Um, so. Color coordination is taken care of, patterns taken care of. Um, now, the one thing that I will say, just because, you know, I, I want to be completely fair, uh, Espresso Box has had some hit and miss boxes um, over, like, the last year or so. Um, you know, the, the, the one that I, I keep coming back to is, is a um, dog tag bottle, net, uh, bottle opener. Um, you know, again, it could just be for me, 45 years old, um... I would have been cool with that. We're like in my 20s, but you know, now at 45, sitting around with the dudes and the brews and the dog tags, it's just not my thing. Um, uh, another was like an enamel pin, because I, I guess at one point in time, enamel pins were supposed to be the hip accessory for men that just never really took off in the big picture. Um, you know, so <clears throat> the one thing they do well is they coordinate the theming right out of the box, but again, They've had a couple boxes that I've just kind of ended the video things like, oh, shit, why am I paying for this? Uh, so let's take a look at this. Uh, our box is, I, I'm loving this, the Henry. And those of you who know me in real life know why I'm smiling right now. And, well, if, if you do know that, let's please not disclose that on social media because, well, I've, I've had crazy stalkers in the past and I don't need to fuel a new generation of lunatic batshit people who will threaten to uh, trigger my car with a bomb and call the police, and just, it got messy. Um, you can pick a reason to dress up this month. Father's Day, graduation, nicer weather, but at the end of the day, you need to get out there and look your best while having some fun. Uh, check out Espresso Box, the guide for best ways to wear navy during warmer months and how to make great-tasting Elijah Craig cocktails. So uh, on the back, we have the spoiler card, which I'm not going to look at quite yet. So, gee, Elijah Gregg, uh, best small batch bourbon. Uh, oh, we have some, okay. We have some recipes here for the old fashioned, my signature drink, or at least it, it was my signature drink until about a month ago when I was introduced to the Moscow Mule. Now they just kind of have to coexist. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Bourbon, simple syrup, bitters, cherry orange. Uh, the Gold Rush. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's let's get into the stuff here. Um, wow, it's it's definitely summer themed. Uh, lots of bright, bright, bright colors. Beginning with the tie. So. The tie is yellow. Uh, the tie has a very nice pattern on it. Uh, you know, again, yellow, great spring color, great uh, great summer color. Um, not really doing ties at this point in time. Oh, look at that. It's Nautica. Well, I'll be damned. Um, just kind of not doing it's It's summer on campus. And one of the nice things about my job is like summer, you know, everybody's a personal pet peeve. If you know a teacher, if you have a teacher in your life, whether they're K-12, whether they're higher education, never say, oh, it must be so great to have summers off and vacations. Yeah, bullshit. I've been working my fat ass off for the last six weeks, and I'm crunching to get the next five done so I can have at least a few, like one week of breathing time in August before we start the fall. Um... Summer is insane, but one of the nice things about summer is because there aren't as many people around, because there aren't as many students around, because a lot of the um, 
faculty on nine month contracts, uh, don't take on summer work. Um, things get really, really, really laid back. Like, you know, I, I haven't worn a tie since probably the end of April. Um, and I'm going to see if I can push it into August, September, October, November, December, 2019. Uh, but yeah, you know, still it's a, it's a nice tie. And if, you know, for some reason I ever do have to play dress up, um, as long as it's, you know, weather season appropriate, uh, I would absolutely put this on. Uh, and kind of also interested to see, interesting to see Nautica there. Um, not a brand that I would associate with a subscription box. I'm not saying that to be bad or ugly. Um, you know, they're, they're just more of a, Nautica is more of a, um, for me at least, a department stall, department store and a mall brand. Um, and I, I can think of very few department store brands that I've ever seen in any of these boxes. Uh, so next up, the socks. And the socks are yellow and navy blue. If that is a yawn, my apologies. Um, so a couple little problems here. U.S. men 8 through 12. Uh, that, that is a possible problem. Um, I'm giving it the calf test. The calf test feels a little grippy in the bad way. Um, if I had to wear men's dress socks for a short period of time, I would probably wear them. I just, I don't know if I would or not, because you know, if you watch the other video that I just made, uh, you know, you understand Panda's worldview on socks and footwear at the moment. Uh, if you don't go back, watch it, catch up. Um, but I like the color, uh, you know, yellow and navy blue. So I admit it. They, they declined my application, but, you know, growing up in the state of Michigan, uh, you know, U of M was everywhere. Um, my, my childhood best friends, for example, eh, just every freaking where. Um, navy blue, yellow, navy blue, yellow, you know, go blue, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's kind of in my DNA, even though they, they did reject me for, for admission. Not that I'm bitter about that at all. Um, Florida State kicked your ass in 1991 in football. So, moving on. Um, next thing we've got are a pair of cufflinks. And again, if you watched the video that I just made, you, you know about Panda's current problem with cufflinks. Although, I got to say, I'm loving the design, the anchor. I, I don't know what it is. Man, for some reason, for about the last six months now, I, I've had nautical imagery on the brain. Like, you know, I've been thinking about, I, I'm ready to take the dive in and get some new ink on my body. And, you know, I, I never served in the, the armed forces. I never served in the Navy. My, uh, my grandfather did. Uh, my grandfather, I think, was in the Pacific Theater, as my, my mother tells me, in World War II. Um, but I, I've just had, like, you know, this nautical inspiration for a tattoo, whether it's an anchor, whether it's the Captain Star. Um, so I'm really liking this, you know, and again, th this is kind of one of the classic masculine accessory pattern, uh, patterns, uh, you know, with men anchors just seem to come up and, you know, I probably got three or four, um, bracelets with some kind of an anchor integrated into it. I'm pretty sure I've got a tie tack or a time, sorry, a tie clip with an anchor integrated into it. Uh, so, I mean, I like the look, you know, absolutely like the look. Um, next thing we have, oh, who made that? Where's the bag? Uh, that is from WC, Weekend Casual. Um, next up is from Indochino. And it's, okay. It's a tie bar. Uh, it is a, just a very simple, conservative silver tie bar with some diagonal striping on it. Uh, the big thing that I was looking at earlier is the bite because again that's always one of the big things that i keep an eye on when i'm looking for for ties i'm sorry for tie ta tie clips god i can speak tonight um i just want to make sure that the tie clip can actually go through and grab the tie like you know for example if we grab without making a mess So if we grab, for example, the tie that I just unboxed, let's see if I can do this without, there we go. 
So we can see that it grabs the tie and it's got some room to spare. Now, I say that because there are other ties that I have I can only use certain tie clips with. Um, you know, I, I've got, God, this is one just heavy, heavy, heavy fabric in a, a herringbone design. And that, that thing is a fat, like, you know, not fat wide, but like fat fabric tie. Um, I, I can only use certain tie, uh, tie clips with it because the, the jaws just can't go around that. Um, so, so, so far, so good. Uh, let's grab this. All right, uh, we have a two pack. I'm not gonna take them out. Um, from Lawrence Hunt, collar extenders as a fat man. And even though I've lost a ton of weight over this year, I am still a fat man. Um, collar extenders, always greatly appreciated. And the last thing we have, I'm kind of cringing a little bit because this is not the first time. Well, okay. So, general note to men's subscription box providers. I think all of you at this point in time have hit the flask at least once in the last calendar year. Or if you do, this is kind of why I was cringing. Let's see if we can, okay, let's do this. No, oh, that's right. Stainless steel, four ounces. That's great, unless you're traveling. The TSA caps you at three ounces. So if we're going to do flasks, and I'm, I'm saying this for any of the men's subscription boxes that might be tuning in or any of the subscription boxes that might be sending me messages. Hey, hey, will you subscribe to us? You know, translation, will you buy our box so you can give us free time? Um, either A, if you're thinking about putting a flask in your box, don't. Seriously, in the other video I just made, uh, I talked about the fact that my big project for the last month has been doing a full cleaning of my room. And I say that because there, if you look, kind of hard to see right where my finger is pointing to, um, those are all flasks that I've picked up in subscription boxes like over the last three years. Uh, I, I can see one, two, three, four, five just stacked back there now six and again i'm not complaining especially not complaining because i think this is actual real leather but let's stop using the flask as the go-to for the guy's box uh, or at least let's let's give the flask a break for at least a year a year and a half um and i know it's it's june it's father's day we're thinking father's day stuff um Let's find some other stuff for dad. All right, so let's um let's do a recap. And then we'll break off. Uh, so we've got the Nautica necktie. Retail 55. We have the Espresso socks. Retail of 12. We have the Indochino tie clip. Retail of 20. We have the Weekend Casual Cufflinks. Let's see if I can get them out the right way and the right direction. There we go. Uh, retail of 20. Uh, the Elijah Craig Flask. And yes, they do say this is leather bound, so that's what I could smell. Um, and then finally, the Lawrence Hunt Collar Extender. So, I'm not going to say a bad box. Um, you know, everything was appropriate for me. There was nothing that really felt age inappropriate. But I, I do think the flask was kind of, um, I don't want to say a cheap shot, but it, it was one of those things that probably didn't require a lot of thought. Um, but everything else I'm happy with. And, you know, again, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I can never have enough flasks. Um, so, yeah, there we go, folks. Uh, that is your June Espresso Box, the Henry. Uh, at this point in time, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, please, by all means, hit the subscribe button below. 
Uh, at this point in time, I've got um, Espresso Box coming in, Gentleman's Box, and Birch Box coming in. Um, pardon me. Um, if you want to leave some comments, please, by all means, leave some comments, and I will try to respond in kind. Uh, beyond that, I will see everybody for the next box that comes in. So until then, be good. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there.